Um, there's probably some new viewers like for the yeah, fact no. you're just like what the fuck this is going ye, on this ye thing has been like a seven day inside joke uh, that we've been in on actually is it seven days I feel like it hasn't been that it was, I think it was after I got here it was after so. Gods got here this is what, like my fifth or sixth day second last day of playoffs I feel like we did it okay was but it? it's playoffs now hey, you think hey sorry do you think what Jenkins do at the moment? Dude, he's probably he's watching, crying man. himself to sleep, I bet. <laughs> yeah. Jenkins, my man. Yeah. He's probably watching the stream. <laughs> yeah, I was, I was talking to him yesterday on our yeah. day off. I was having a good chat. Oh, yeah? <laughs> he, was having, he was having a good time. Dude, he's been streaming. Go to Jenkins' yeah. stream. Not right now, but at some point. 420 Jenkins. 420 Jenkins. That's him on Twitch. Oh, God. Is that is that his channel name? Yeah, it's <laughs> twitch.tv slash 420 Jenkins. Holy shit. <laughs> he, was, he was born on April 20th. Nothing else, man. I don't know what you're thinking. <laughs> yeah, <no. laughs> Come on now. That's his birthday. Why are you laughing about his birthday? Really? Why do you do that to Jenkins? <laughs> is that is that his really birthday? Yeah, it's his real birthday. Well, I'm 18. 418. 418. Okay. Yeah. You two could be brothers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I was two days earlier for the memes. I'm a bit yeah. worried because if you reverse my birth date, it's three two two. Oh, <laughs> that's uh -oh. I wish my mom oh. could what? hold me. No, I mean me in, like in, a, in America date, it, it is. Would March twenty second. No, no, no. Mine's uh twenty third of February. It would be a bit different. Oh, okay, okay, okay. So you've got actually the numbers mine would be like in between. Yeah, yeah. it would be like uh, sandwich. My mom's birthday is actually four twenty, and I. Made the remark one year because she reminded me her birthday's coming up. I was like, oh, I never forget your birthday. It's on 420. <laughs> <laughs> and then she's like, what? But what's that? And I was like, oh. My mom's like pretty hip and with it. Like my older daughter was a big rebel. She smoked and stuff. So what was your and excuse? My, I, I just assumed my mom knew what 420 was. Oh, okay. <laughs> I, I just told her. I was like, well, it's, you know, it's like national politics. Is it an American <laughs> thing? Or I, I don't know. I thought it's it was more American than oh, Australian. Okay. So yeah, yeah, yeah. She's, she's Australian. But uh, I had a fun conversation explaining what 420 was to my mom. <laughs> Um, a few years ago at her birthday. <laughs> and uh, she wasn't impressed. That's how I remembered her birthday. Kunka <laughs> 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 mm. and Weaver. Is that a Yi? Oh, Ogre Magic. Oh, yeah. I spammed this hero in my pops in NA. And right. Three yeah. whole wins. Three zero. Wins. Easy. We yeah. told you. This is the secret. To see. Did you go in the offlane? Uh, no, I'm. Are you were supporting? Yeah, I'm playing four. Oh, okay. He's one of the good babysitters over there, just spamming the uh, ignite and stuff, zoning people away and hit them with a bong. Yeah, yeah, and then you're a bloodlust machine for the next forty minutes. Yeah, yeah. it's all good. That's yeah, but I, but one thing I I kind of it's kind of hard for him to to level. I mean, all the skills though. Whether you're gonna mm. you're you gonna choose the, yeah, the, the fire blast or or bloodlust, it it really depends on the situations, and you have to read the game, which skill you need more. Mm, sometimes I just um, go for max ignite first, and then and then fire blast one, and then just go for uh, bloodlust four first, and then just up fire blast. It it really depends. Seems yeah. the new build is mostly maxing fire blast for the damage with multicast. But the fire blast, it's so good with the tower. I actually got a comeback game because of that. Loss. Yeah, because I keep buffing the tower and the tower shooting. Woo, woo, woo. Like that, you and know. And your towers are weird because they make that noise if they do. But noise, I mean, it's really fast. I, I, just, I just want to I just wanna show you how fast it is. Okay. Just like how fast, fast God's like throws his darts. Well, I mean, God's was throwing darts really fast just yeah. now. True. That man had bloodlust on him. <laughs> he <laughs> was throwing those impetus shots. So, yeah, it was alacrity, tether overcharged God's right there. <laughs> you know, I want to I wanna give a shout out to Charles. Charles uh, is the one, he's the uh, logistic manager, manager of the Beyond the Summit. He was the one who, who called me an Uber from the uh, from airport to the, the house. And the first experience I got in, it's um, <coughs> two guys. Two guys. <laughs> it's actually a carpool. Like, because, like, what? Like they didn't get you a, a real Uber? Yeah. Charles no, got no, you an Uber pool? No, yeah, you're giving yeah, him a yeah, shout they, out. They, 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 <laughs> they get me an Uber pool. And, then, and then these two guys, uh, I, at first I thought they were friends. But no, they, they were just a um, customer and a driver. Okay. Oh. And they are arguing about Whoa. Bruce Lee oh. and Mike Tyson. Who's a better fighter? Yeah, I they they obviously they are asking uh, they are arguing about if these two guys fighting who gonna hmm. win, 
and the uh, customer say that it's definitely it's gonna be Mike Tyson, but it seems like the driver was so into Bruce Lee, but he said, yeah, Bruce Lee was fast, fast like lightning, that Mike Tyson will never ever hit him. Fast don't count for shit when you're twice as big. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. there's a reason why there are weight classes in it's boxing. It's one yeah. hour conversation <laughs> about that one, <laughs> and I was in that. That was my first experience in America. Did you say anything? One or did you just sit hour. there quietly? I sit there quietly because yeah, if I go in, definitely gonna be a royal rubber <laughs> in, 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 in the car. <laughs> That's my first experience, child to child. Thank you. <laughs> what? Thanks it was for great. the Uber experience. It was great. Do you tell me of him five stars after that? that yeah, I gave him five stars. Oh, man. <laughs> <laughs> oh, okay. Dude, how does Tiny get fourth picked? These teams didn't first pick I Tiny. Don't know. What's going on? Yeah. I don't. Crazy. I don't even know the lanes. For low tech, because at first oh. I figured, did they change it a little bit and maybe throw Ohio and the Weaver now? But then, Kunkka or Tiny, one of those is probably four position. We'll have to see which one. Could be mid Kunkka. Could be mid Kunkka. Could be core Tiny. Both players are four position. Um, I don't know. Back. Plenty of options. Ooh, in. Ooh. that's a great oh, I can pick. Once in a while, I, I think Clutch was the only team to pick it in the group stage. Nico babies. That's actually a really good pick as well. Look at the lack of counter push on low tech. When it comes to there's no counter push, but X is very irritating for a like and have to deal with because yeah. and and fiend's grip. Like I said, they do have the silencer for the fiend's grip at least. Right. That's kind of like all he's he's either waiting for a grip to global silence or a, like a kill op opportunity on like a weaver. If weaver's playing like a carry, and you can kill him with global. Yeah, dumb on him, but they don't have dumb hero for clutch gamers now. Yeah, I, if it's core ogre, we've seen like some blink dagger and shadow blade builds. I think we even saw one skylock ogre game where he went and blink, like veil into blink. But uh, it looks Enigma like they're expecting support. Mm. Yep. A lot of the things clutch can do with their heroes, like Lino's first picked, and it's that flexible hero that can play support, can play core, can do can do it all. I really wonder what low tech's going for here. I'm a little bit mind boggled. Yeah, I don't know what the deal is with this first phase Kanka. Especially when Tiny was in the pool. Is it just is it the throw clutch gamers off here? I mean, Kunka's not too bad as a support. You know, you got the run from the, the ghost ship. X is a great spell for chasing heroes down. But Hmm. Is that a PL ban? That yeah. Okay. None, none of these are really Raven heroes. Yeah. Okay. Even though Tiny Weaver can play safe lane, they're not Raven <coughs> heroes. So they ban PL. They're still, what, Terra Blade? Uh, yeah. Are we just going to go back for this, like, Raven Mirana? Because they've uh. got Bane? No, I think they only went for that because they had that void that they could have given Ohio. Now they're giving Ohio... Well, I don't know. Usually they always pick Ohio's hero last, so... I yeah. don't... I think Ohio's hero is already here. I feel like it's a like Weaver. I would think it would be... Yeah. We've seen a lot of offlane Weaver, including Ohio. It could be wrong. It could be safe lane Weaver for all we know, but... Yeah, yeah. Uh, maybe Tiny for Ohio to go offlane. Is offlane Tiny still viable nowadays? Yep. Yeah. Still. Throw I mean we people were into the tower. You need to be careful, especially when he teaming up with uh, another good setup. I think the only role you cannot play Tiny is five position. Even that is probably not like terrible. It's just not Dyer ideal. They're going to take the Terra Blade. So okay. they have a block pick as well, I'd say, in some sense. Yeah. So TB with Lycan. Wow. I mean, a lot of potential push. TB isn't all about the late game carrying. You can actually take objectives pretty early with just your like Dragonlance Manta. So what mid Lycan? It could, be, it could be the old yeah. Ice 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 like an offlane, remember? I think yep. I don't know how many times he's done it. I remember he did I it. I think it might be this kind of the Necro Book 3 Lycan. Just push fast to to make space for the Terra Blade. The, the more tower he can take down, the easier the Terra Blade can just farm. And, and also the uh, financial of Terra Blade will be good. I, I'm pretty sure that this is going to be a Necro. Because if he if he go for a fighting kind of Lycan, go for a maybe Sentin Yasha or or just straight to a Black King buy some stuff, he still have to deal with the uh, Fiend Grape anyway. So I think it's just have to push. Yeah, if anyone's gonna participate in the mid game, I think it's better that Terra Blade do it, and then you know while Meta is down, then Lycan can feel okay participating in fights, and then you just alternate back and forth. Last pick. 
kind of worry a bit yeah. about dealing with the uh, lichen and tell of light. It's at like, the same time. which hero do you address more? Right. I'm I mean, taking a while. It makes me think they wanted that <sighs> terror blade. Some heroes can theoretically address both, like the tinker type heroes if you're worried about the push. But can Tinker fit in this draft? I mean, they don't have yes. enough burst damage to deal with the uh, two heroes at the same time. No way. Zeus. And it, at the first four heroes, no way they can kill Lycan and Terminate mm. all together quick. I imagine they were planning on sending Tiny or Kunkka mid, which is also where it's like they wanted to pick a Raven hero, but like the carries available for Raven just aren't really going to do much against those heroes, I feel. Right. The mids, the Zeus's, the Tinkers, those heroes can. So maybe Raven just takes Tiny safe lane. Or he takes the Weaver and you do Tiny off lane. They're gonna, yeah, they're using like two minutes of reserve time for this last pick. Yeah. I think they tried Raven Arc Warden one game in the safe lane. That's been the answer to TB a lot of the time. It definitely seems like a matchup most uh, Arc Warden players like to play at least. Would the game last long enough though? I mean, you're up against a Lycan on Clutch. They've got pretty decent push. Yeah, it's definitely a bit risky. It's Tide Hunter for Ohio, so mm. Weaver huh. Raven. I get an offlane alas. That's the last thing we were perhaps okay. expecting. Okay. And this is one of those amazing heroes against Lycan. It so was always one of the counters. So how are we doing this? So who Oh, support Tiny. Support Tiny, so okay. Kunkka is gonna be mid and Weaver safe lane. Oh, and it's KYX play on the silencer. It was Spartan on the silencer last time they ran it. Ooh. Mm. Okay. I guess what, looking at the lanes, they're going to be putting Silencer down in the off lane with Lycan, since uh, this is like that three position Lycan that right. I think SEA teams were always running a little bit. KYXY used to it when he was on Tigers as an off laner. Um, and they probably see Silencer as a better hero to secure his lane. And it'll be Alacrity Lena <laughs> versus Trion Kunkka in the nice. mid lane. Good matchup for Kunkka, I think, at least slightly favored, like maybe like 60 40. Yeah. The LSA plays kind of, there's outplay potential where Lena can win the lane, depending on how the LSAs go. Right, and if she's able to get out outside of that Tidebringer range. Yeah. Indeed. It's a fun mid matchup to watch because it is very skill based. What do you think, champ? Who's, who's draft you like better? Mr. Uh, Co-caster? I'm, I'm pretty sure Clutch Gamers, I love him. That's what I'm saying. You just yeah. you said two zero, so you're, you're, you're going to buy his co-caster. I mean, no. I would have gone <laughs> if I saw these two drafts and not the teams on top. I'm still going with Clutch. Yeah. I don't I don't really know. This Tidehunter seems so like he's going to be doing fine in the lane, which is I imagine part of the reason why they picked him. But he's so heavily cooldown dependent that like like he can just, just keep spamming the ag ankle smash, right? I think to deal with the order summons. Clutch is more cooldown dependent because they're going to be very dependent on the silence circle mm. silence. And also the TB minimal. So maybe they're both equally cooldown dependent, whether they have theirs or... Yeah, yeah but I think theirs. Clutch are better at being able to space theirs. Yeah. Alright, production. I you ready for this one? Here we go. You know what I'm about to do. <laughs> I'm going to pop off a piece of my dick. I have <laughs> <was> two, <laughs> two back to back. Yeah, course. I didn't get my yeah. first one wasn't satisfying yeah. enough. <laughs> it didn't bring oh. me into the draft. I had to get yeet in. <laughs> I mean, can you really complain about no, that? That's though? true. I can't. Yeah. Um, hey, at least you got the ye. They almost didn't do it. Let the pauses begin. Oh, Yo, Skylark no. was really salty about this one last time. Who? who which team was it? <laughs> it was um, execration. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. yeah I, I mean, he was. I think that was just like a culmination of Dude. execration having the forfeits the day before and yeah. stuff. And they come in, um, pausing left and right. Yeah. I, I love how um, emotional the Greek players are. For like sure. That, that is something that Dota players, the stereotype, which is kind of a bit true, is that they're just, uh, just bad at showing emotions. They're not that vocal. They're not that loud. They're not pa they don't have that passion. Yeah. Add, add Finnem at the Boston Major. That was just beautiful Peak. to watch. Let's, yeah. let's be real. P the players, they can be emotional, but it's all up here. Yes. They don't show it. It's all mental. Um, boxed up, and there's a few players who really show that emotion. Nicole Baby. <laughs> I want to meet my baby. What? Oh, oh, oh. I think James you Spicy. Participate in no this. thanks. <laughs> <laughs> but, uh, uh, Raven just straight up. <laughs> well played as well. It's it's fun. Hey, so I have Dota Plus now, so I can tip people, right? Yeah. Yes. Let's Holy play. Let's play some Dota. Let's, I'll take your tips. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Not when I die, please. But you need to be careful. They're gonna tip me back. 
No, yeah, I, I'm gonna play pub. When I kill someone, I'll tip them. That's the play. <laughs> uh, but not around like ten dollars, please. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think it's like fifty shards or something like that. It's very low. It's yeah. It's intentionally so that people can spam it. I think. I got the CM Lena sisters tip. Even nice. though there's no CM in the game. Nice. <laughs> what? What is this? <laughs> Come on now. But uh, let's get things underway. All right, away. let's do some intros, yeah, shall we? Let's do some intros. I gotta go first. I'm gonna play by play here. Yeah. Zyklops, step aside. Yes. We got Clutch Gamers on the Radiant side. Spartan playing the Ogre Magi, Alacrity playing Lena, Nico Baby on Terrorblade, KYXY on Silencer, and Skylark playing the Lycan. Who we got them on yeah. the other side? Low tech on the dire side. Uh, Yamate on Bane, Ohio on a Tight Hunter, AU on Tiny, and Raven on Viva, Tiyun on the Kunka. Good stuff. Should be a, a great game. One thing, I feel like we talk about Raven, he's the guy they want carrying him, but Weaver against these heroes, like, yeah. you don't really threaten TB or Lycan. Like, you need, th these heroes are just unafraid of Weaver. Lena, uh, I think, is a pretty good burst hero against Weaver as well. And oh you gotta deal with Global the entire time. Like, I don't mind the fact they have a Weaver, I just am worried because it's on Raven. I think you want it in a three position role just because it's not a great Weaver game. I don't even know what you build as Raven this game. Dragonlance Maelstrom? Dragon Maelstrom sounds He, he fine. needs damage and HP. Might I will true. say. I, 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 I'm, but I don't think he can get away with building the Spirit Vessel this game if he is the carry. Yeah, he needs a way out of Global eventually. It doesn't have to be... It could be after Dragon Maelstrom. He may want a Lincoln Sphere for the Sunder even. I yeah. think even if there's a Global, unless the Lena and Ogre are nearby, they're actually not going to be able to even touch Raven. Because look at the lockdown on a Clutch. It's Ogre and Lena... Terrorblade, not really going to give you any lockdown. Silence, so yeah, there's Global Silence. And then there's a Lycan who doesn't also give you lockdown. So mm. this could be a really good game for Raven if he can avoid the initial fight with that Global Silence. And then they sort of come in with their Titan to like, there's a lot of lockdown on, on low tech. They could just nightmare someone and then they go into the fight. If they nightmare the Silence or he's going to be out for a couple seconds, they can blow people up with that initial Ravage. So I think there's a lot of op options for low tech, but for clutch when it comes to these fights, they're sort of they've got this small window, and if they don't hit that window, they're going to lose some heroes pretty quickly. Well, lag issues. Feels cool, man. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, they were maybe thinking about testing some other servers or something. As SEA today, unfortunately, we got through the first beer three, but this one not looking to be off to a quick start. Yeah. Uh. You clicking through tips over there, gods? <laughs> there are a lot of mouse <laughs> clicks. <laughs> Is it coming through the mic too? Yeah. <laughs> I'm annoyed you here. That stomach sound. <laughs> Previous <laughs> game is so remember. loud. <laughs> <laughs> are you uh, sure it's not? Definitely hungry. <laughs> mm. Oh, oh no. Uh oh. This is not looking good. That, that. Remember to always carry a TP scroll. I don't think TP scrolls will help you with internet <laughs> problems. <laughs> <laughs> oh, wait, I got one. Oh, yeah? No, God! <laughs> no, God, please, no! 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 I'm gonna do that every single time someone disconnects. <laughs> yeah, the game is paused. Actually, it should be every time we pause. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, hopefully, if people disconnecting, there's a, a pause to go with it. <laughs> <laughs> but you never, never know. At some point. All right. We, we got, got a game here. We got 10 back in. No. Yay. Go when ready. Oh, is that what that means? Yeah. Oh, okay. I did not know that. That's uh, the more you know. Why has Alacrity been typing in Japanese this entire time? That's just part of his tag. Oh, it's his tag. Okay. Yeah, that's his after. What a weeb. Oh. <laughs> yep. Is that old Japanese? I think so. Nico Baby also does. Uh, no, there's one of those is just a smiley face emote. <laughs> <laughs> it's literally a smiley face. Oh, that's Skylark as a smiley face. It's an imposter. <laughs> okay. I don't know what that'll actually be. Some of those. <coughs> oh. No, God! No, God, please, no! 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 <laughs> All right. <laughs> I'm liking again. this. <laughs> <laughs> we need one for when we, you know, we're back in oh the okay, game. Okay. What's the, the happy sound? I'll find one for it needs that. to be short because the game's back in. Yeah, okay. How about it should be like wow! the. No, yeah. it should be the you know the trumpet for pushing. Oh, the charge. Okay. Yeah. Okay, fine. I think I can do that. They're on two separate pages, but I think I can do it. I think so. All right. We should make our own page. Here we go. 
I I can't take harass. my eye off the lit mid lane really. Uh, that's the she lane to watch. Would, yeah. I'm gonna TP these lanes around. We'll see if uh, Clutch Game is follow at all. It looks like that was just the supports. No God! No God! Please! Hey, no! Did you mix no! mix up the pop up? No! no! What? You mix with a pop up? Pop no, up. and then pop up. <laughs> oh, that's tough to do. I don't, I don't know if it's I can. In different tap. I, I can't do. Yeah, I can't do dynamic mixing on the spot. That's a that's a production kind of thing. Oh, back in the game. There we go. All right. Hopefully it's more stable. I'm really worried about their internet connection, though. They've paused quite a few times. Oh, Lena's off to a good start. Got the range creep tonight. Oh, mid man. Against a Kunkka of all heroes. Oh, no, God! No, God! <laughs> Anyone counting? No! Is this what, no! what no, this, thing, this thing is actually counting no! for me. Oh, well, I don't know about the original pause. I think pauses. it's, oh. I think it's but four that's the times. Fourth, that's the fourth time I've tapped this thing. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my goodness. <laughs> Are you ready with the charge? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think I got that one. <laughs> yeah, Your finger is like that. hovering um, over it. Okay. There we go. Charge! Oh, I didn't realize there was an ending to it. No, there wasn't. That was God's. Oh. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> what? What? what, what Never happened? mind. <laughs> I'm confused. <laughs> I didn't say anything. No, of course not. <laughs> There you go. So, uh, Lena, let's come commit. That's going to be a fun one. Dial have the Tiny up top supporting the lane against Silencer, being a bit of a bully. Not fun for KYXY. Oh. It's hard, man. It's so hard to get in the flow. Yeah. Like, I just want to cast some Dota. Uh. He's back. He's reconnected already, it looks like. Ten hours Dota. Can, Can we, we just join to us? Actually, isn't possible. Well, now's the time. If you want to try a different server, now's a good time to try it. Is this Japan or is this to C? postpone the matches? Ah, Europe West until SCA server done. Who knows, man? We got where, Dude, where's this our is Nino? This is gonna be a real <laughs> test for Nino. This is outside of the handbook. Yeah. I All think. All right, let's see Blaze's disciple. Yeah, this is. Uh, you got to make some executive decisions here. Yeah. I mean, yeah. If you keep going like this. Um, There'll be a moment that they start to go into a team fight, yeah. and then someone lacked out and l losing control. Even one second, or yeah, or just one step mistake, like they 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 go forward two or three steps, they die already. So I I think they they don't wanna. I'm well, trying try another server next game, I and mean, this is still. I've, this seems like an okay timing to. Do a full uh, r remake on new server. But they already know the lanes yeah. now. Well, and there's been like some teams TP'd heroes around yeah, to swap yeah. lanes, so it obviously will. It's always annoying, but if, bo if, if both teams are fine to remake, then it's fine. But I mean, the alternative is you play with a pause every 30 seconds. Like, that's not Dota. <coughs> well, we'll out. Who knows? They're not redrafting or anything, right? No, I, no, I highly doubt that'll happen. Get some AP remakes. You gotta, you gotta tunnel the players. Fix that lag. Seems like uh, Ohio is not, he not happy play. with that because because he don't wanna. He, they already expo the lanes already exposed. Since the yeah. lane already like this. I think it's a yeah, fair point. You know, team doesn't want. It. Is he? Are they? Uh, so are we remaking or are we redrafting or? I think we're. It looks like we're gonna go ahead and then change server next game. Maybe at least well that's what Ohio is saying. Pause five more times in the next two minutes. <laughs> I'm out. out. <laughs> he's, make, he's making the old maiden. I'm oh, out. watch out. Nino's going to crack the whip. You don't, <laughs> you don't you tell don't me <laughs> how many times you pause and you're yeah. out. I tell you when we're out. <laughs> okay, wait. You, you get ready with the, the sound. Yeah, get the, oh, the cavalry. Yeah. No, oh, no, I'm, I'm oh, shit. Oh, oh, but that was a low tack pause. Oh, oh we're right back here. Okay, he paused. I swear <laughs> to God, if we pause five more times in the next two Actually, minutes. It's now four times. Uh oh, oh. We pause four oh. more to all three <laughs> more times. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh my god. Can you put the sad sound effect? Oh my god. We're not gonna get it. Can a I game. get a can I get a showcase you on Tiny's face, please? We'll see if I'll uh, give me a admin. zoom in on that face. He Look cracks. at that adorable boy. Oh, that'll that'll warm us all up. Look at how. Oh, 
You don't like, want to make him sad, do you? He's just like, I just want to play some darts. Yeah. I'm a small boy. Right. <laughs> I'm just a poor boy. Look at the shopkeeper. He's, just, he's <laughs> 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 Look, he's so sad. He's not selling anything to anyone. <laughs> This is gonna be hard for the mid laners, four of them. They need a flow of the game. Alright. There's not much flow going on right now. Just Let me tell you. Just watching the shop drain laning face. Oh man. I mean, the longer this goes, the harder it is to remake. That's also a That is true. But we'll see. Right now, it looks like we've got ourselves. Uh, oh. 10 seconds of gameplay we've got. That was a good uh, 10 wait, seconds, wait, guys. I think we're down to what? the last pause. Uh, Look at that tiny. Analyst Zyclops, what do you make of the last 10 seconds? We're remaking, guys. Uh, in the game? Yeah, b between the last pause and this pause. Um, pop out something. Oh, yeah, I can do that. <laughs> Don't worry. <laughs> That's what you make of it. I'm going to pop off a piece of my dick. <laughs> dick. Welcome back, everyone. Welcome back. It's King's Cup 2 Southeast Asia wait, playoffs. Wait, wait, wait. It's King's Pause 2. King's Pause 2. King's Pause 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. We had all the seasons. <laughs> and it's playoff time. Usually when things get figured out by this stage. Right, but I got some passwords for you. We can, we can do a sponsor uh, shout out. This pause brought to you by... <laughs> Lor can I get a... Can this pause brought to you by Lord's Mobile. Could have been playing Lord's yeah. Mobile this entire time when we were paused. Exactly. But look at you, you chump. You're just watching me. <laughs> Could be playing Lord's Mobile. Could be putting in the promo code King's Cup for a hundred dollars. And could be pillaging. Could be pillaging an MMORTS. And I will be pillaging your village. Your pillaging, kingdom. villaging, pausing, and shout out to Sennheiser, official audio partner of Beyond the Summit. BTS.gg slash Sennheiser. There's uh giveaways. Going, no, actually, no. It's oh, there's a specific URL. I'm gonna tell you. I'm gonna let you guys in on a little secret. It's not bts.gg. Says Sennheiser. That's where the scrubs go. You go to bts.gg. Don't tell anyone. <laughs> slash kc2 k, letter k, letter c two, giveaway to win your own. And the best part is, we've been giving people the wrong link for two weeks. So <laughs> you guys oh just found you guys today God. have the correct link. <laughs> really? Your chances of winning are tenfold, <laughs> way higher because no one else went to the right place for the giveaway. And everyone who wanted to watch this game already left because of all the pauses. <laughs> <laughs> They're all five of you watching. Go right now, <laughs> Sennheiser, and obviously oh. shout out to Monster Energy, for whom we would not have the energy right now. Keeping us for alive. these monster pauses. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh yeah. Mm. Oh, that's oh. some good monster. That's some good monster. The blue is decent. I would say it. It's up there. I wouldn't put in my top three flavors. What is your top three flavors? Uh, the rehab lemonade definitely top one. Okay. That's like S tier yep. of monster like energy. It. Um, I like the orange sunrise one. Oh, another I, one. I don't know if there are any. I, I don't got think the so. The latest Retired? shipment of monster. No, it's still there. I think okay. we, we. It just wasn't. I, I, I dropped the ball and didn't put oh, in a request. Damn. Oh. Um, I like the some of the coffee ones. The mean bean. Mean bean. Mean I've heard good. The Grant is all about that yeah. one. I'm surprised you didn't put the um, pipeline in there. Um, top the pink one. Yeah. yeah. Oh, well, that was quite nice. Well, you only recently got introduced I, into that one. I like the one that had the story. I don't know if it was even the taste. I just like the story about the big wave, the Hawaii that's wave. That was the pipeline. Is there? Isn't there more than one pipeline? The pink pipeline. I'm okay, talking about. Okay, pink pipeline. Okay, yeah, that yeah that's one really I had. Yeah, that one had a good story to it. Yeah. I enjoyed it just for the story, even though I don't remember what it tasted like. So by. then you never explained to me what the difference was between like a rip, a wave, and a pipeline, um, and, no, a, a, and rip a break. Isn't a break. isn't a rip like that's the current that's going out into the sea? That's like the one that people get stuck in normally. Life yeah, rips are bad. Yeah, okay. they're, they're awful. You'll, you'll die in a rip. Okay. So that's the that's not a wave. It's just a current that's pulling you out to sea. <laughs> okay. Break is just a way of describing how the wave like. Basically, the lay of the land and how waves break. Like, you that's just what you say. Like, the, if, like the break at this beach is good, which means like the it basically means they have good waves. Okay. Um, just because of whatever conditions make waves. I don't really know the science behind it. The moon. Remember. I the think moon the moon's right. involved. The moon's involved, but it's like yeah. it's gonna be waves wherever. I feel like it's a lot of it is like you know the. I, I, I don't know, the shit under the water. Oh, okay. I'm trying to remember the, how the, the, the topography. The topography. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's the word I was looking for. <laughs> <laughs> I, I actually have no clue. I could be no, talking I my thought ass. the break is like when the wor when the wave curves over, and that's when the foam starts to pop up. You know, how you get that little. I have no idea. I can't remember. It's been too long since I went surfing. GG. The caustics. 
that the or no caustics are like the lines inside the water. You know, I'm Look, gonna I'm, Google I'm, it for I you. I just did. I just oh, googled okay, what is you. a break. Unfortunately, it's a very common word. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna a go break is when you're in honor of a relationship <laughs> and then you stop being in a relationship I'm going, temporarily. I'm going down to like definition number seven Why here. Why not just Google wave break? Yeah. Uh, let's see. Wave break. Then you're leading Google on. <laughs> okay. I want the straight on the pure definition. Yeah. So. Because a, a break is basically so you know how wave, waves are basically. <laughs> keep keep miming it out. Keep miming Wait, it. Out. I, if you keep miming it, so out, eventually I'll know what you're talking about. So when there's a wave coming along the water, it's okay. like you've got like a little hump going on. Go, it's yeah. moving like a hump, All and right. it's it's not scary. The break is when it turns to like oh. crashes over and turns to. Foam. That's the break. That's, that's what I was trying that's what to say. I, I see, couldn't. I see. So okay, wait. I'll show you when the picture. When it goes over, that's the break. See this uh, like hey, little can, tunnel. Can surfer can be killed by the wave? Um, sure. Yeah, people die surfing all the time. Maybe. I mean, I, it's, wow. it's, I'm sure it's How? happened because they're huge. Like that's the dangerous part is when they break. Is that you know you get crashed under, um, you get swept away. Like the beach in Australia. Like I go swimming at the beach. You get dumped by waves and get when you, if you get dumped by a wave, you're just like you lose control of your body. It's just gonna thrash you around underwater. Whoa. Like that's happened. That's happened to me. Like uh, like uh, that's just like an everyday rite of passage for Australians getting dumped by a wave. Wow. It's like kind of scary the first few times it happens, but then you learn like it's just gonna last for like three or four seconds, and then you you know, swim back up to the top. Mm. So there, there's some strong strong waves, strong strong breaks. Have you ever? What is the biggest wave you ever surf? Me, I don't surf. I mean, I just uh. I just swim in the ocean. Uh. I do I do the boogie boarding, which is like the flat boards. So I don't do the uh. stand up surfing. I'm too tall and uncoordinated for that. Uh. But nothing nothing too crazy or big. Are there sharks there? Sharks, sure, somewhere. You know, it's an ocean. In Australia, there's probably sharks. <laughs> Not like a. I've never been in an ocean and seen a shark. Do they eat you? Yeah, all the time. They <laughs> really? No. I mean, there. I thought. I thought sharks no, don't, don't eat. No, eat. Not really. Cyclops. Fun there's fact shark about attacks. sharks: they don't eat humans because we taste good. It's just they. So how sharks like feel things is like they bite it to see if it's edible. Mm. So at first they won't actually see you as food. They'll just bite you because they don't know what you are, and then they'll bite you. Obviously, there's blood, and when they taste They're blood, then, the then, blood, then yeah. you just yeah. you just put a sign on your <laughs> pants or something. And no food. <laughs> oh my god! I I'm not a food here. I I actually learned don't a bite yeah. I learned a really fun fact actually because I used to do open water swimming, which is swimming in the ocean. If you wear clothing or swimsuits that don't make you resemble a seal typically they won't be interested so normally mm. they say bright colors like yellow green don't do red red probably not a smart idea but just bright colors they'll look at you and they'll be like oh what the heck is that seal can be bright sometime no <laughs> what movie have you been watching i i don't know madagascar they're pretty colorful yeah. <laughs> <laughs> probably madagascar. Yeah. i've got a i've got a wikipedia definition for a surf break oh, okay hit me yeah a surf break is a permanent or semi-permanent obstruction such as coral reef, rock shoal, or headland that causes a wave to break, forming mm. a barreling wave. So a wave is oh, okay. A wave is when it has different. that like hole kind of. Yeah. Yes. So yeah, it's <coughs> stuff like the coral reef and whatever it is. There's oh look, and the then topography. It says the topography yeah. of the seabed. You were right. We're yeah. this. All right. And then there's all kinds of different breaks depending Whoa. on point. Ship, oh, ship point break. break. I know that's a movie. Okay. I didn't know that was. Uh, so shipwrecks yeah. can cause breaks. That's kind of cool. That makes sense. Submerged because it changes yeah. the topography. Sure. Do you think there's a lot of shipwrecks under the ocean? Yeah, lots. Yeah. For sure. Am I missing out by not having seen the Great Barrier Reef yet, Gods? I haven't I seen the Great Barrier Reef what? either. High five. I mean, you've That's a bad thing. You're in Australia. I know, but I don't, I don't think there's near the much reef. left to see these days. That's what, I, that's what they tell what I me. It's on disappearing. That's what they, I'm, I'm yeah, traumatized. Yeah, I went once. It was good. I mean, it's like, if you like snorkeling and that stuff, it's really cool. But there's a lot, a lot of places to go snorkeling. But apparently our Great Barrier Reef is dying. Yeah. Oh. Sad times. Yeah. You've heard of the, was it the Thorny Crown Starfish? Have you heard of those? No, I don't think so. Oh, so apparently the, the starfish, they're really big starfish. They're super pointy and they're actually eating our reefs to oh death. Damn. And people it's have to go. Up. And they, they literally hire like a small group of divers to actually go into the reef and they'll inject poison into them because they reproduce Whoa. very quickly. It's really bad. Wow. Yeah. I think it's crown of thorns. Crown of thorns sure. starfish, yeah. You got it? Uh -huh. Yeah. So they're We're those educating bastards. Our exactly. <laughs> they're eating our coral reefs. I think it's because it's too warm. That's why they're reproducing really quickly. Population control. That's what we need to do. 
Dude, tell me about the quell great... Quell the starfish. Tell me about the great emu war. There's nothing to tell. Cool. <laughs> <laughs> Just because you lost... Look, I mean, let's talk to me about the Vietnam War. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Please. That's a very... <laughs> all right. All right. You win this round, gods. <laughs> 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 This is a very educational stream for once. As well yeah. it should be. Yeah. People should be cultured. Do we have any more fun facts? Fun fact. If you sub, but you get to execute sub, I guess that's the only fun fact I have. That's true. Go to yeah. uh, over here. And click, the best part? Click this link up here. I don't die today. Yeah. Oh, yeah. She won't die today, but one of us three can die. You can sub to twitch.tv slash beyond the summit. And you get secret access to a Discord room in the BTS Discord, which anyone can join the BTS Discord. But you only get access to the interesting rooms if you sub. And mm -hmm. you get, like, a special color. And then there's a straw poll, which, like, six people participate in. And so your vote can actually make a significant <laughs> difference. <laughs> yes. The, the, the number, you're not going to get diluted out. Sorry. There's no gerrymandering sorry, going see, on Sorry, you're going to die again. I'm sorry. There's only like five people voting. I'm calling it yeah. now. You're dying. And so you can very easily choose who dies. I'm a man of tradition. You know, I feel like we need to stick to our traditions here at King's Cup 2 SEA. Yeah. Which is Probably why vote for, z for Tsunami. No, that's yeah. not a yeah. tradition at all. Is it not? I don't How think so. How many times have you been executed? That's irrelevant. The sample size is not nearly large enough for us to start extrapolating trends. Okay. Okay. Is the poll up by any chance? I completely was totally not going uh, in there to look at it. Completely unrelated. I don't, know. I don't know if it's up. I don't know <laughs> if uh, you at home could know <laughs> if it's up. It's, it's not I'm up not opening All right, we got time. Discord. Don't worry. There's, there's no poll there There's yet. no poll. Don't go in there. What the hell? Yeah. <laughs> What's the status? I mean, of the this game team? could go for another six hours. So. That is no, entirely they're still, possible. They're still negotiating about the oh. uh, which server should they play because um, apparently it seemed like Clash Gamer was the one who introduced about the hey, let's go India, man, let's go India, and then once they are in the lobby and ready for the India, Clash Gamer like uh, SS Spartan said it it might they ha might have the packet lost. And they suggest we, we if if that is that kind of thing happened, they're just gonna go back to the Southeast Asia again. I'm not sure. I'm not sure what the uh, situation looks like at the moment. If they get packet loss, I'm pretty sure all the teams would get would be getting packet yeah. loss now. Yeah, I think it's this. Yeah, Singapore server. Maybe it's just some teams depending on ISP or something. I don't know. We were on Japan just now, right? That was Singapore. We're gonna. Oh, that was it Singapore. looks like we might try Japan. Yeah, I was wondering why they didn't want to go straight to Japan first. We ever want to go to Japan, man? Let's, yeah, let's Japan. get some ramen. Cool country. My f my family's going to Japan ramen. without me. Oh, so oh. Fun. I love ramen. You I'm love all kinds of noodles, I love. Yeah, I'm a ramen destroyer. <laughs> oh, the ramen destroyer. In Bangkok, Bangkok yeah. <laughs> I had pretty much every place of ramen um, in in Bangkok already. Yeah, I can I can say. Which that. one's your favorite? You want to give a shout out on the stream? I would say the place called A Ramen and the and Umai Umai. Okay. Never heard of those. Umai Ramen. Is yeah. it Bangkok? Is it from Bangkok or is it? Yeah, it's from Bangkok. Never heard of it before. Well, the, the Bangkok viewers out there, no way to get their ramen now. Yeah. And you better, you should charge them. Next time they'll be like, I gave you guys a shout out. Right. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I want some free ramen. Literally <laughs> 10 people on the internet heard me give you a shout out. <laughs> <laughs> 10 yeah. people on the internet. Come, come to Bangkok, find me. <laughs> I <laughs> show you, show right, me right. the cool places where to go. Yeah, I will. Show me definitely to not where the underage drinking happens. You're not going to take jabs there, right? Yeah. No. What? Say no. <laughs> Cool place in Bangkok? No. <laughs> One night in Bangkok? No, I was I was looking at, at player negotiating each other. No. Dude, it's high stakes yeah. negotiations. <laughs> yeah, it's it's really some Wolf of Wall Street shit right here. Yeah. Do you have any oh, they're debating which server we're going on? Do you have any stories we can we can tell on stream? Um well when it comes to negotiation, I think people saying that, hey, don't don't go first. Just wait until the other guy just offer first. But uh, in my theory, I think going going first is it's pretty much just gonna get the nearest 
number that you would like to achieve. Yeah, but what if you don't know like where the where the line is? What if you undersell yourself? Mm? What if like no to go first? Yeah, uh, it must come out from your good research too. You you can't be informed. You, yeah, you okay. you you can't go into the negotiation go table without without anything. You know, before you you get into that that table, is is not is you have to be all around. You have to be asking asking around people already. Hey man, you know, do you think the what's the average um, price of that thing or well yeah? So did you service? did you negotiate for your Street Fighter casting? How'd that go? Did your did your boy just give you a give you a value and you were like I'll take it yeah I'll I'm take a Street it, Fighter yeah. caster now <laughs> yeah yeah I'll, I'll take it uh, I I it took me like three days to to think about it That's, that you should tell the story about your Street Fighter how how you learned Street Fighter from from zero to hero this man if for those of you who are not aware if you only know X God <laughs> in the context of Dota you're missing out. Because this Don, is a multi-talented individual. Don't Google Cyclops Street Fighter Five. <laughs> you <laughs> see some crazy shit happening. Ooh. You think he's g- like if you, if you're not familiar with fighting game commentary, just let me tell you that this this kid's a natural. Uh, it's uh, I'll tell I'll tell you the story after we are we already have. We have a server. Yeah. Ooh, we oh, do. we do. already my got God. in the game. Which one are we doing? We may oh, remake if it lags again, but wait, is this Japan? Ooh. India. Oh, we're doing India. Uh, okay. I'm gonna pop off a piece of my dick. Oh, it's Japan. I didn't think production was ready. <laughs> Let's do. It. I'll do it again. Well, we're care. we're kind of in the pick strap. Pop yeah, off a piece okay. of my we're dick. We're not in game yet. We rushed it. I don't care. I'm gonna pop off a piece <laughs> well, of my dick. You rushed it. Dick. You're like, come on. I'm gonna pop There's off. There's a, a repeat piece of button right dick. there. Oh my god, is it really? I think so, right? Where is it? Oh, is it no. there? No. I don't see any repeat button. Well, you can. Almost get us actually. In the I game. can turn us into piano mode. Oh, oh. What's piano mode do? Oh no, I queued what up is too piano many. Piano mode. I don't know. Oh no, I think I broke it. I'm curious <laughs> what piano mode is. Wait, I, I, I always I, see I, that I, button and never know what it does. I, I think. Oh, yes. oh, I. We need a new wizard. Yeah, <laughs> get us in the game. Yeah. <laughs> My timing is this good, man. Is a true shitty wizard. All right. Oh, I'm asking. Is, is, is it, it good? good? Is My it boy. Good? <laughs> Chat wants to know. Oh, no one hears you. Oh. It's good. It's good. Okay. Right, I think right. we're fine. Yeah. Thank but, uh, goodness. Uh-huh. They only answered because they thought it was coming from gods. If they knew it was coming from Cyclops, they'd be like, man, shut up. We'll tell you <laughs> if it's good or not. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I used God's name for that. <laughs> Your champ's name carries a lot of respect in South Asia. Every play we're going to interview, it does in Southeast Asia. Yeah, yeah like, it's like he's like, "Hey, man, it's Cyclops," and they're like, "Oh, the fucking Cyclops!" Yeah. <laughs> it's like, it's like all, all of us do the so interviews with the questions. Behind. We ask all these legitimate questions, and they're like, "Yeah, yeah." And then oh, Cyclops shit. like, "Hello, it's me, Cyclops." No. They're like, "Oh my God, where have wait. you been, my man?" Oh, wait, I got what? Oh, oh wrong one. Shit. It close enough. <laughs> this is not really good. Not a good sign. But we're just gonna try more. Keep on trying. That's all you can do here. So I believe Weaver had eight last hits. And Tiny also had a handful it's of last kinda, hits. It's, it's kind of hard to have eight last no, hits need. Weaver. No, I need it back. That's yeah. what I'm saying. It is hard. And they lost that. Okay. Raven is pissed. He's, he's made. He's waiting to see what the lanes are before he goes bottom or top, He knows I guess. these Greeks can't be trusted. Yeah. The lane swaps are... Potentially going to be coming out. We'll see. Were there three dire bounty runes last time? I demand and the parity. Lanes, the lanes are different. Nico Baby on TB is going top instead of bottom on TB. Wow, they changed the lane. They put yeah. the Raven in the middle. I mean, the play, the players in the lobby, and this is not anything you know dirty happening. Players all said same picks. And there was a D ward last game, apparently. And they even said, like, look, we're not going to... We're not going to redo the lanes. We're not going to redo the D ward. No, okay. It's basically the only thing that's the same is the picks. I see. Like, you know, is Lena going to get that first wave range creep deny uh, again? Well, I looks like she is. She is. All right. They're redoing the last game. Well, Alacrity gets a, the range creep deny. Low tech, I've come to bargain. Yep. <laughs> well played by Alacrity. Wow. A whole 30 seconds of actual Dota gameplay. Yeah, this is bizarre. <laughs> this is unfamiliar. <laughs> I don't know how this works. Uh, ooh, I don't know. It's so oh, uncomfortable. Wow. And KY Swy just sw- Oh, oh okay. wait. Ooh. Tsunami, do your job. Back in my. Uh, my where was it again? Oh, here we go. No, God! No, God, please, no! 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 I get lost. No! 
Thank you, wizard. Man, that was crazy. I yep. almost watched continuous Dota for a while. This will be interesting because Clutch suggested India, but they're getting packet loss and low tech are fine. Oh, it's Japan. We're not in India. This is okay. Oh, wow. 80 packet loss. Oh, that ain't good. Jeez. Right. Well, let's hope we get a Dota game today. <laughs> <laughs> we got a series already, you know. We got that one beer, three. It's true. But we shouldn't be greedy. Yeah, exactly. Come we on. We should be grateful. You know, if anything, let's just make this equal. Let's all play on like North American servers. Uh, someone said that. Let's go to Europe. <laughs> <laughs> and it's just like, oh, it's one way to get a Dota game. At Don't know if it'll be quality. Actually, no. The closest server would be Australia, right? So I think it's a hundred. You guys have a server? We yes, yeah, we do. Wow. It's it's literally in the middle of the desert. So even Australians don't get great ping. Yeah. You know, I feel like Lotai is kind of sacked on the top lane. So it feels like they're moving AU here just to for some chance to kill, maybe a, a toss back to the tower and all those stuff. But they used Yamate before, and the way that Yamate is zoning out, he, he can't fight KYXY who at the first level of Glaive is on level 1, and he's getting zoned out a lot. So they move Yamate back to the bottom lane uh, to make sure that they win that lane and sack top. Yeah, it seems like they uh, just kind of cut their losses a bit where they can. Yeah, but TB I is getting farmed for now. But that was his Metamorph. So now that Metamorph is over, maybe this lane gets a bit more even up top. <coughs> KY is just going to have a great time here harassing all these melee heroes. Look at Lina. 9-7 on the last hit. Dude, this was not how it went Regen last time. Regen rune. Denied. Yeah, he wasn't going to win the race, so... Ooh. They're both pulling creeps as well, though. They're pretty desperate for that rune. Wow, and look at that on top lane. It's KYX not only... Went very low. That's away. How's the early point in Gush, it looks like. Level 2 in Ohio, it's gonna be fine. Seems like they have some potential to kill on top, though. I kinda like this switch from Team Lotak. Just move Yamate, the bane, to the bottom. Yeah, wherever the Tiny goes, it's kind of potentially a scary kill lane. Bane Weaver against the Lycan Ogre. It doesn't seem like we should see much kills down here, but there will be just this constant harass trade. Level 1 Bloodlust even. That kind of says it all from Spartan. He's like, hey, you know, we're not killing them. Let's just, you know, beef ourselves up a bit. I'm surprised we're seeing this level 1 Bloodlust, though. True. I thought it was going to be like Ignite for Blast and level 3 on Bloodlust. Yeah. Range creep deny from Xuan. 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 I, mean, I, can, I, I thought it was Qian. Yes, Qian. 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 I like Qian. 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 You know, that's a Thai name called Vichian. Yeah, that, that's, that's pretty much a common Thai name, Vichian. It might be Thai. Is it more common than Champ? Champ is pretty much too, but I think the most common nickname in Thailand is Bang. Just Bang? Yeah, just Bang. Ooh, top lane, bit of a fight breaking out. KYX around the sounds are going to be brought down by the Tide with the Tiny getting the last hit. Gush into an avalanche right click. Lovely switch uh, yeah. from Team Low Tack and a bit of overconfidence for KYXY standing a bit too in front than his um, core. And then got caught in avalanche and a toss. We'll be a bit careful here. Tiny's going for a bit of a, a wraparound potentially. See where he ends up. He's, he's suiciding, it seems. Yep, he's gonna buy some regen. Oh, maybe just jack the. Hello, hello, hey! Hey, <laughs> thanks, man. <laughs> uh, mid lane, gang coming in from Ogre Magi. Oh, he exits. So he was about to TP, so actually, it's a good thing he didn't, but he does end up dying. <laughs> that could have oh been really bad gosh. for him. And, uh, Thanks, Mike himself. Yeah. That was the. X into TP play that you often see just to get some items yeah. and heal up. Yeah, nice. yeah. Uh oh. He was. How long were you waiting for that? The timing is waiting, too good. I was waiting four minutes and thirty nine seconds. <laughs> the timing you is don't too say? good. <laughs> Man, I don't think they will remake uh, since the the score and the last hits is already far, far away. Like yeah. twenty seven seven for the. Um, Tower Blade. 
Heaven forbid a team fight happens, well, though, and they need to pause. Well, there's a turtle inside this gush. Hey, I didn't even know this either. Wow. Where did that come wow. from? This it's from his uh, immortal. How does that come out from there? Like, how would it fit? Because it's all, it's all stuck inside there. No. Tidehunter just wore it. No, you know what it is? It's probably like, you know that when you're a kid and you get those like, little tiny animals, you put them in water and they expand? Oh, yeah, I've seen so those. So maybe like spits it out and then like grows bigger as it comes out. No. And then it drops your armor. I mean, you're getting hit in the face with a turtle. I'm pretty sure your armor would break. Yeah, yeah. Poor turtle. Oh, Yamate. Bottom lane. Good harass on the Skylar. I think this lane is pretty okay for a team low attack. Yeah. Back at top, AU in the trees. Gonna be scurried away. He was trying to get some bounty runes, but Alacrity, the mid rotating in to make sure he secures the top ones. Meanwhile, bottom lane, low tech get one out of the four runes. In such a close game like this, the body rune control is the one of the most important thing you yep. need to get your eye on because that's the only way to get above your opponent. Well, things going pretty slow here in the, the lane stage. Nothing crazy happening, but True. what we are seeing is most of the core is farming well. Tide being maybe the main exception, not having the best time against Terra Blade. Like in doing the worst as far as clutch aimers go, but uh, still doing just fine. Yeah, yeah, at least he didn't die. Exactly. I think the core that matters the most, the TB, is farming really well on clutch gamers. Equal baby, uh, Kara. Well, when, when we take a look at the hero's lineup, once the uh, draft's done, then we know it's going to be a really passive game already. All of the core heroes need core item first, especially levels. Um, I, but I'm pretty sure at 15 minutes. Oh wait, bottom lane. A bit of a fight out here in the jungle. Weavers chasing under the tower here. Are they going to commit for this one? Doesn't look like a raven. It's kind of out of mana. A bit too risky. Yeah, he's gone for an early blightstone. So really wants to play aggressive. Wraith band plus Aquila with blightstone. Yeah, we're well saying at 15 minutes mark, we definitely going to see uh, team fight uh, grouping yep. as a group and push from. Nice. Kill up top, they brought down KOXY. The second point in Gush on Tide, really aggressive skill build coming out from him. And with the Tiny's damage output, nice little kill they picked up. Spartans rotating up here on Ogre Magi. We'll see what he can get done. Get Sun of War, they want to fight, they want to come in on a higher who should be going down here. The Bloodlust comes out terribly. That's a level two Bloodlust. Spartan with two points at level three, really beefing up TB. Was a compost pay by Spartan. He didn't even use his stun. You know, if I were him, I would have stunned long ago. But he was like, eh, it's just blood lots and do some body block yeah. would be enough. Very good. Very good play. It's definitely not your everyday ogre build you expect to see. I think we've yeah. seen a lot yeah, of the other indeed. two spells being maxed, but ogre's got a different idea. I mean, on paper, this the attack speed from something like ogre has is like percentage wise more most efficient in the early game for a hero like tb when he doesn't have items because he gets so much value out of that attack speed i think they might can kill the middle lane if he can land some sun but Xian playing very defensively so skylike almost has his helm of the dominator he's just about 100 gold away from that on lycan we'll see if he can oh toss back potentially They'll get the X boat combo here. The torrent to fold up. They really want to bring down Alacrity. They time it right. AU has the tree grab and he gets the last hit. And a haste rune secured for Xi'an on the Kunkka. Well mm. timing for Xi'u on you know, X mark and do not miss the board like that. No. And at the same time, yeah, uh, forward is a board. Uh, one thing I found out about playing in NA pubs is when you play as a forward, you need to time the D ward right. You, 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 Sometimes I get flamed, like, hey, why, why do you keep the wards? Why don't you just go place it? But it's not that easy as you think. You know, you, you need to, the key, the creep wave need to be pushed so you to go in without any spot from your opponent. And now that's a good war in the middle, another fight in the middle as well. Okay. Gets away from a potential gank from the Lena respawn. They were looking for a stun combo, fire blast into LSA Laguna. And they really prioritize warding in the middle to just play sentry yeah. ward right mm. after that to de ward the sentry. You can see Lotak, Dire, they have two observer wards around this middle lane. They really want to have that vision there. And there's a lot of heroes coming in towards mid lane. Tide TP's in, seeing this uh, convergence as. You got a, ra you got a Ravage? 
Yeah, has leveled it up. Lina was there, and Lycan was rotating as well. But Lycan, the second Tide goes mid, Lycan's like, oh, okay, I don't want to be there. Lycan's just avoiding Tide at all costs, and instead going to go for Yamate. He needs the Ensnare to cancel the TP at bottom. He does get it. Yamate's TP canceled, but meanwhile, back in the mid lane, we'll see the Kunkka initiating in, getting a kill, and kills being traded. Top lane as well, action all over the place. Raven, he's managed to stay alive, kill off Nico Baby on the Terra Blade. That's the carry, Raven. Coming online <laughs> here, nice and early on in the game. Soon, soon, he get rid of his opponent, especially the core. He, he killed Terra Blade. I don't think that's a good trade at all for a team plus game on top. Was that TB in meta at the time? Or is meta on cooldown right he, now? He was in, was meta, in meta when he died, oh yeah. Man, he got the kill using it. Rough. Bounty runes coming up. Weaver going to uh, secure some of those. Gets a bottle and everything. Meanwhile, back in the river, Lena, who was kind of coming for those bounty runes, is going to pay the price. Dies to Raven's Weaver. Raven, 2-0 with the bottle charges, will refill it with the bounty rune. So he's back to full health and mana and can kind of stay in this lane to keep farming. I'm not sure how the ping situation looks like for both sides, but right now I can say it. Oh, oh Raven, he's been global. Can he get away from this one? It looks like he may uh -huh. still survive. They commit global. They now get time lapse out of there. Does time lapse back pretty close, but doesn't look like there's any detection. Central they need, was they there, need to be calm. Both party, especially for the clash gamers, that he, they were the one who suggest changing the server and losing the early game like this might irritate them. Yeah. I mean, if Lotech wants to fight now, they can. There's no global oh, yeah, available. They're, they're going in. They're TPing. Tiny's coming from behind as well. There's a Ravage even if they need it. Toss back. Are they going to Ravage? You betcha. They hit both of them. Weaver there to help with some extra damage, and AU gets the double kill. That was so easy mistake made by Team Clash Gamer. They were low in mana. There's nothing much they could do. Still, they want to push the tower. Yeah, it feels like they should have just backed off. Global was used and on cooldown. No need to press their luck. Over, overextend. Meanwhile, with the bottom lane, uh, they deserved an overextend because there's no one here. Low tank is pushing the bottom tier one tower. Start attacking on it, but still high HP for the tower. Very good for Lotak so far. Getting all these nice early game items up. The Buckler on a high is completed. He's going to go for a mech. Looks like. Oh, oh. This time it's Lotak pausing. You know, we, just, we got, what, seven minutes of gameplay there? Yeah, a good yeah. solid seven minutes. Things are looking up. Yeah. I'm starting to forget that we've had been having these pauses for <laughs> a second. That's when <laughs> things go south. Seems you assume it's good. Sorry, suddenly jumps. Okay. No matter what happened, disconnect or lag or whatever, they both have to finish this game because it's too far to remake. Yeah. Yeah. There's no remakes possible. Only can play through it, I imagine. One way or another, even if it's not pretty. But Ravage was now used top, so immediately Clutch Gamers want to go push and fight. They're trying to go on a higher, but he is so damn tanky. 13 one charges as well. He's on the front lines, just very hard to deal with. Lycan going to pop the shapeshift and look to go in and threaten here. AU needs to be careful. He's on the tiny. He throws out the avalanche to start things off. They've lost the tower already. A higher gets Laguna Blade. He needs this run, but it comes in a bit too late. He's already taken so much damage. He's still alive, though, thanks to Xi'an. The chase is on a higher. Oh, it doesn't die. One health. He's still alive somehow. Yamate now rocks up with the brain sap. A higher's healing up. He's even going to salve oh it. He can God. use it. The curse is going to help finish him off. And now the kills start going clutch game his way. They have lost Lycan in the process. Alacrity showing up. We'll bring down AU's tiny. It's a three for one in Clutch Gamer's favor. They took so long to kill the Tide, but in the end, they do manage to bring him down, and Raven didn't have a TP. I feel like if Weaver could have shown up for that fight, it could have been a very different story. That was a good tank from the Tide Hunter indeed, but yeah, I thought the <laughs> the moral of Team Clutch Gamer going to destroy uh, if they lose their team for and Clutch got, uh, and the Tide Hunter just got away with one HP. But, well, lucky for them, they still managed to pull out three of Team Low Tech. Mm -hmm. uh, it, was, it was a great decision making by Clash Gamer. It was well calculated about the cooldown of the spells and know that the most of Low Tech doesn't have the ultimate. So they say, um, le let's go. They even call the carry up. Mm -hmm. yep. And they also have Global Silence available for their next fight too. So if you're Low Tech, you're going to be a bit hesitant to initiate into a fight. Very well management on the skills. Well, it's going to be a smoke up from Lotak. They want to go fight themselves now, despite that global being up. They headed down bottom. They're going right into Spartan on the Ogre. Not the biggest kill. In fact, it's the smallest of the five Radiant Heroes, and it's not quite what they wanted. 
It's getting into mid game already. I think what the both parties need to be careful is uh, is some mistake that they unforced error mistake. Yeah, this this kind of thing is just unacceptable if you wanna win a game one. Yeah, camping around this middle lane on the low tech side. They're hoping someone comes to defend. The blink on Tiny has been revealed now though, so there's not gonna be any surprise element coming off of AU. And that's where the, catching that ogre was really unfortunate for them, because it just wasn't the kill they wanted. They want to kill one of these cores. It feels like the game... Oh, gone in. They get vision with the swarm. AU throws out the full combo here. Skylark will go down with a higher coming and gets Sundered, though. Global Silence there as well. The boat has already been cast, so that's going to catch Terrorblade. And even though he used Sunder, he's still already back, almost dead. Toss forward is Xi'an, and he's going to bring down Nico, baby, with Raven getting the last right clicks in. Great team fight for low tech. They didn't even need Ravage in the end. It yeah. was just the Kunker with his magic damage, really. They, they had the Ravage all along, but it was Blue Google. Uh, <laughs> Google. Why is that Google? They blew Global as well. And I, and I could tell as well, Tidehunter was sitting in the front line. He was hoping for them to trigger the Kraken shell. So that's why he stood around and was like, I'm hoping, break yeah. my Kraken yeah, shell, yeah, break yeah. my Kraken I shell. Yep. He so ended up getting fire blasted after the silence ended, and I think it works out because yeah. low tech, he probably would have ravaged if he wasn't disabled by the fire blast. They're not done getting these kills. Tiny gets stunned up though, eh? he needs to be a little bit careful here. The multi is going to stop any tiny blinks with the ignite damage coming into play. And coming in from behind is Skylark on the like, oh. and the ravage too late to save the tiny, but does catch a couple. Very defensive ravage in the end, and Xian is going to be looking to TP out, and he'll make it home. Kunker gets out of there, they lose Tiny for the Ogre, they do commit Ravage. I suppose it's for saving the Kunker wasn't too bad. Yeah, they, they're not looking to immediately go take another team yeah. fight, I don't think. I mean, don't they've got Grey Ship up too. Yeah, I feel like, I feel like Team this Clash Gamer, even though Team Lotex is trying to speed up the game pace, they should not be shaken with that rushing up game from Team Lotex. So what they want right now is to Skylark to, co to commit on his farming, get the, those Necro that we were talking about during the draft up real quick, get a Necro 3 and start pushing out together. Mid lane, Tiny's gone blinking with an Avatar. They're going to follow up with a Ghost Ship. They want to go on this Lycan who does not have ultimate. The toss is there now finally. Skylark goes down. They could chase for more. Seven seconds until there's another Avalanche. Can AU get another blink initiation off? Grip will catch Silencer, and that's almost certainly a kill. Tiny just blinks past. He's looking for more. He knows they've got that kill, and he wanted the plus one. But they'll be happy settling just for two kills. Like I say, the team captain need to slow down his teammates now. That game started to fall apart when low tech just start to rush the game. They could increase the game pay drastically, and I... Um, and uh, it's obviously just now that the reason that they lost their Lycan is because of team communication. Lycan was the only one on the high ground on the other side of the river. He goes in and the Rangers fall back just like that, leaving Lycan 1v4. They need to just calm down a bit. And as a result, they're going to lose some towers now. Suddenly 5k gold lead. It was pretty close, like 2 to 3k for a long time. And Yeah, it was yeah. only 1k just now. Yeah. And then after 2 or 3 minutes, it's a couple bad fights and some towers lost as well. Even though low tech used the ravage to not to great effect, they're not they didn't lose that fight and the other fights they are winning. Get books first. Yeah, this Lycan just isn't looking very scary. Only five K net worth on Skylark. Get books, get blacking bar, and you, he's gonna be fine, I think. Weaver has a maelstrom complete now, so hits those I'm timings. Pass come out, I'm not uh -oh. sure. Ohio. My man Ohio. The regular customer of Souk in Kuala Lumpur. Suit. Souk. Zook. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, you should try that, man. That that is actually not familiar. What is this? The, music. the base club, club yeah, in yeah. Kuala oh. Lumpur. Oh, Z O U K. Zook. Yeah. They're in like Singapore and stuff too. Do you have yeah. one in There's Thailand? Yeah. Bangkok? No. no, no. Bangkok? We already have great club in Bangkok, man. And uh, don't don't forget, uh, after KL Major, hop on over. Yeah, hop on over. One night in Bangkok. Yeah, yeah. maybe two or three, couple of nights before you just fly back to the California. If you're so into club culture, Cyclops, I'm surprised you didn't find some uh, something more lit than a karaoke bar for yesterday. Ah, yeah, <laughs> karaoke. Look, after King's Cup's over, we'll go, we'll hit up the LA nightlife. Really? Going to Hollywood or something. 
Yeah, yeah. I would go, man. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> I would. I, I after yeah, the right. work, right? And after the work? on the last day, I would get totally. Oh, you gotta <laughs> wait, wait, wait. You, you need to I fly was, home, I was about, Cyclops. Wait, it's gonna get I, totally full on some great, delicious food. Of course. But will I get part of immigration now if I get totally wasted? No. Sure. They they'll want you out of the country. Yeah, you can get out <laughs> by just getting in. That's yeah. the problem. Well, that seems interesting. Cyclops works hard and he plays harder. Yeah. Okay, X one the sound, so he gets the global up. It will go down to AU. The chase is on though. They want to kill Raven during the global, and they will. He doesn't get the time lapse off, and the tiny okay. dies as well. Great sequence of events for Clutch Gamers. Clutch Gamers have shown us so many times in King Cups 2 Southeast Asia that they are really love this kind of playstyle. They might have a bad time in the early game, the first 10 minutes, and then after that, if they're grouping up, uh, if their core heroes got the core items, I think after this, it's going to be a very powerful force for Team Clutch Gamers. So double damage ring down bottom, that can be fantastic on Kunkka at this stage. What else are we looking at? Hayo on Tide has enough money for his Greaves. Yeah, he's going to buy Greaves so he can get out of this global silence. Getting closer and closer to the Necro Book 3. Once he got a Necro, he can just use all the small Necro Warriors to tank up some damage, you know, stay in the front line and harassing people from low tech. It would be hard for a low tech frontliner like. Um, Ohio and the um, Tiny to play after. Alacrity on the bottom lane. Already got the U Scepter ready to set up the fight. Mm -hmm. He had. Well, he, he, he didn't have a great game so far, but just doing okay enough to get away with it. Yeah, he's getting decent timings on his items, not amazing. The issues right now, Radiant have lost a lot of map control and. Because of this, suddenly Lotak are actually in the Roshan pit. And with the Kunkka DD, with the Gush minus armor, they're actually killing Roche pretty damn fast. And Ohari just picked up Greaves as well, so yeah. we all know what that means. Lycan Wolves come in, but it's too late. Roche has already claimed. Raven picks up the Aegis, so now he doesn't have to be afraid of that global silence as much. Be careful, you take a look at the graph, you see that the uh, momentum of the game is swinging back mm -hmm. into a clutch game aside. What does Dota Plus tell us? What's the win probability? Uh, you can buy it on my account, guys. I won't mind. Okay. Oh, no. Your, your credit Pie card Hunter. details already on there? I don't think they are, actually. <laughs> 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 what are they? It? Would you like to... No, I'm, I'm good, <laughs> actually. <laughs> no, like it. Get all he really wants a high. Right? Because of the griefs, this tide gets so tanky when low in health. And they're going to jump in. They're going to chain Sun Skylock. He needs a way out of this one. Ohio getting very low. He will end up dying, though. The global silence plays. Nico Baby's there on the Terra Blade to do some Metamorph damage. And another team fight going Clutch Gamer's way. Were the Greaves on cooldown? They were on cooldown, I believe. This is just like what my had on my vision before the game start. You had a vision? Yeah. Oh, man. That, that this kind of thing is going to happen when, when he already got the Necro book, man. Dude, they're going to... So big. Big, you know, ar uh, army, Teleblade illusions, including all the dockies and stuff. Murphy. Dude, <laughs> Murphy. <laughs> I know, he, was, he left and... Murphy pushes. And the Lycan <laughs> comes back. Definitely Murphy's threat. Should call the, the Lycan Wolves Murphy. Yeah, they have three dogs. He got, he got another extra dog here. It's the, it's al it's the alma f alpha the Murphy. alpha dog. <laughs> he's pretty alpha. He's, he's running around barking at everything. <laughs> <laughs> he may not look it with his size, but it's you ever you ever taken to a dog park? How does he handle himself at a dog Ooh. park? Gosh, it's uh, I have. He's a beta wolf then. <laughs> no, no, he's he's an alpha. He's a alpha alpha wolf in a tiny little puppy's body. Uh, wow. Okay, okay. Oh, he will uh, go up to any what? dog, triple his size, and try and pick a fight. Yes, oh wow! That's Hilarious too, because all the big dogs are afraid of the small dogs too. Oh, Rabbit, Alacri, they want to bring down the Lena, and Alacri is going to get blown up. It looks like for the Shadow Blade, there's no detection. Oh, the dust is there. It clips him. The right clicks. Jumping oh. They bring him down, barely killing off the Lena in the end. Oh, that was so close to yep. get away from Lena. I think they know Metamorph is down, kill. so it's it's so back and forth. Like one team will use their ultis when a fight, then the other is like, oh, they don't have ultis, let's go fight. And then they use theirs and win a fight. It's just taking turns, taking team fight. They're trying to bring down Terra Blade, but he gets the Sunder off onto AU's Tiny. 
The Avatos combo wasn't quite enough to bring him down. Raven's chasing for the back lines, gets KYXY Silencer, now going to switch back onto the Terra Blade, but gets stunned up before he can finish him off. The In wolves. comes Skylark. The Wolves wants to bring down Ohio. He has got the Grief still. He's going to pop it now. Can use the Anchor Smash as well to negate some of this damage. The Reflection coming out to slow them all, but it's Raven and Yamate actually getting the last hit on that first kill. Three dead for Clutch Gamers. Skylark could be number four, but he gets back to the high ground. Man, I can't imagine how much uh, Clutch Gamer hate that Ohio Tide Hunter right now because he's tanking so much no. damage. It's so irritating. If you're not getting him, getting rid of him out of the fight first, he's just going to come back with an ankle smash to decrease everyone's attack damage. I hate. And the Weaver having an Aegis at this stage makes it very hard for Clutch Gamers to fight into low tech. But still a very close game. This is the... Perhaps so we've been waiting for today. As fun as watching Fnatic stomp was, this is uh, much more of a, a nail biter. Yeah. Hmm. Oh, and a post. KYXY. He's a great man. <laughs> he didn't, no, no, he he didn't not, die. Yeah, so so <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. Yeah. <laughs> he has been dying. He's six <laughs> six of these uh, true, true. 19 deaths. But I am curious why they decided to... Like, I haven't seen anything particularly KYXYE about the <laughs> silencer that they chose to give him over Spartan, the hero. I th it just seems to be the farm priority, I guess. Ogre's running around bloodlust machine in some ways. But yeah, the silencer's items, I guess he's going to have his first... I mean, he's not even that close to his first wow. item. Wow! Yeah. This is such a um, this is such a against Dota plus skill build for Ogre Magi. Blood yeah. blast first, fire blast full, and the only level one of ignite. Dire side continue to maintain pretty good map control, keeping all these lanes pushed out. One thing their lamp does pretty damn well. And. They're going to make it hard to move out for Clutch Gamers. It's on the way to Assault Grass for Lycan, which is a very good item. And then after Assault, it should be a Black King Bar. Um, one good thing about getting a late Black King Bar is you're going to have more um, Black King Bar time than others mm -hmm. in late game. When Arthur only got like 5, you got 10. Yep. It's it's big, big difference. This is another good thing of having a late Black King Bar. Uh, while sometimes if the game scores bad, you just go first, and yeah, all those BKB oh times. Oh no! Are so plus two hundred. Plus, plus another, another two hundred. Oh. They won't get the third necro book or well, the third plus two hundred. I like the idea of dewarding with necro books. It's yeah, safe, it's but there's a chance to give away yeah. gold. Yeah. So. And they, they, your your opponents have Aegis, so there's like you're not going to team fight. Putting necro book on cooldown isn't a big problem. Mm. So it's a a good way to oh. use it during these quiet periods. Oh, they've got a grip down bottom, Ogre Magi. Just an Ogre, but they'll happily use yeah, a grip on that. It doesn't matter, this is kind of fast cooldown, 105 seconds. Dude, look how t fast that tower shooting Cyclops. Yeah? What's the sound effect that you had for it? Come on, man. <laughs> Top lane. With uh, Aegis down, maybe Clutch Gamers were thinking oh about Oh no, fighting. another 200. <laughs> These dominated creeps. Look, look at how up. fast that tower could shoot. Lena's fishing for kills here in the jungle with a Shadow Blade, but don't know if she'll find anyone. Doesn't look like there'll be any chase. Later you'll see how fast the uh, tower is shooting. Three bounty runes for low tech. It's good to see they still uh, focus on the uh, bow rune picking. Yeah, I think they know. It's like their opponents are scared to fight. You should be getting at least three and often four bounty runes. Nice strike away on it. Yeah. No mana for Laguna Blade. They're going to nightmare to dodge some <laughs> things and we'll get out of there okay. I think he was expecting a Laguna and was maybe thinking he could make some fancy plays out of that. Why didn't they, Laguna? I hit no mana. Oh. Yeah, no mana. He was just short. He was at like 370, I think. But I mean, when you play as a Lina, you're supposed to be ready to Laguna all the time. That is I true. mean, you, you you just have to keep mana for some Laguna. Right. Especially At least, I mean, I mean, Dragon Slave instead you of must it. have Light Strike Array and Laguna Blade right. all the time. Yeah. Nice. Uh, maybe. Mm. I'm pretty sure the players that sometimes will forget to 
the just miscalculate their mana and they just forget. Maths is hard. Wow, coming into the wall. Is that double sentries up there? Oh. One of them's a radiant. Observer. Yeah, I think they stack. They're they're not killing it on purpose because they don't want to show that they're in this position. Well, I guess uh. the smoke wore off though. So. Oh, it's a yeah, radiant sentry. It's yeah, a radiant sentry. Yeah, yeah, so it doesn't give any vision of any sort. And when you put an observer ward on a sentry that you know isn't giving vision, it's almost better just to kind of leave that sentry. Make them think that it's already served its purpose dewarding. Right. But uh, there was a... What, DD, who got the DD rune? That's AF. So Raven picks it up with a bottle. DD runes at this stage of the game can be pretty game-breaking. And that's where having this map control um, to find some value runes that can secure you. Roches, <coughs> when your team fights, is super value. But on the other side of the map, Clutch Gamers split push, take a tier 2 top tower with the Necro books, and they're just being generally very pesky, even though they are playing from behind. Oh my. The, yeah. the gold is close, but the experience difference is actually pretty massive. That's because of the team so fight. Yeah, and like Clutch Gamers are split pushing and pushing out waves with like the Necro books, but their heroes are not getting experience. So it's a 12k XP lead. And they keep giving away the it's Necrobook quite big. experience. Yep. But it doesn't matter. If you can just win one team fight, you can easily nice. come back in this one. And they're going to need those BKBs against the Ravage. And Nico Baby just about has this. So Scotty and 3.8k gold. The BKB will be perhaps one of the answers. As Raven will use the DD, try to get this tier 2 mid tower. Forces out a glyph, at least for now. And BKB now them on our Terror Blade. And Lena, so they've got double BKB here. Alacrity fishing for an initiation mid, but won't find much. Just, uh, yeah, they're just gonna let go the mid tier too. Yeah, no defending it into the uh, Lick Ravage. And whoa, okay, down bottom, they've caught KYX way. Pops the Global Silence, perhaps a bit prematurely. In goes the Terror Blade with the BKB. Metamorph wants a higher. Won't quite get him right away. The Greaves, he's going to blink in a second, but he gets the right click before he can blink out. Nico Baby still has Sunder, but his BKB wearing off. Needs to be a little bit careful. Down bottom, Tiny goes down. They couldn't kill KYXY. They committed Initiate on a Silencer of all heroes, and it backfires horrifically. Raven wants Skylock, and with the grip, he may get it, but the LSA from far away with that cast range. They're going to come in now. Sunder being used initially on Xian to bring him down low. Kunkka needs to be careful about this one. Raven dodges the LSA, oh, and no. there oh, is no. the pause. Oh, in the middle God. of the team fight. A high is brought back, and imagine, what? Imagine, like, uh, they are in a war room, and they're, they are playing this game. Like, hey, 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 DC, DC, pot, pot, pot. <laughs> Right. Ahayo just found probably the best rune he could have. A haste rune to get to this fight. But if he, even if he gets to this fight, is there any chance of him possibly um, turning this around? Yeah, Raven's full, well, close to full health. Um, Xian, his BKB has, like, what, four seconds left on it? So I don't think he's going to die immediately here. There's even, like, what, half a second of disarm left on Terra Blade. Um, he's got the rum buff, so yeah, both Kunkka and, and uh, Weaver are going to survive. And the problem is, Clutch Gamers may not expect the higher to be back in this fight so fast because of this haste rune. We're going to find in just a second. What's the play here? Raven wants to bring down the leader, but the invis is going to keep him alive for now. And they are chasing what a torrent coming in from Xian, followed up by a Ravage. There's no Sunder. It's on cooldown. Nico Baby in some trouble here, going to turn and fight. Once Raven, he salvages the gem, then time lapses to take some health back and they do end up bringing down the Terra Blade. Great buyback from Ohio, knowing he had the Ravage. And 200 gold incoming. Uh, get them plus 200s. What a time for a haste rune in Xian with that rum buff and a great torrent. That was uh, low tech's gem, so they recovered their own gem. And they may also recover themselves an Ogre Magi kill. No, I don't think so. Oh, they want mid. They see bigger objectives, perhaps. Uh, <coughs> I don't think they Mm, probably get not. This one, yeah. <laughs> Plus 200. Yeah. Get that. Yeah. Oh, yeah. That's value. Plus another 200. Get oh, that Oh, yeah. Gold just keeps rolling in for low tack, and they are going to hit this tier 3 tower. No Lena, no Terra Blade. 10 seconds on the TB, but he will not have Metamorphosis when he respawns. So they'll get the tier 3 and back off. Smart, safe play. They know Roche is respawning. It has respawned. I don't know if they know that. They haven't scouted it yet. Try now. And they can kill Shrines. TP coming in. Terra Blade. I guess he feels strong enough to fight this one. He wants to try and force things here. He's going to BKB. Can't attack the bug because of the disarm. 
And now full retreat. Xian knows they've got to get out here. They've secured a bounty rune here, but they do not want to get caught. He has got BKB. Could BKB TP if he wants to, but I don't think he really does. Oh. So our range. Yeah. We go charging in here. The Lincoln Sphere. Going to pop as high on the front lines here. Scylla's Greaves as well. There's going to be an Avatos combo with the Global Silence, but Oka's already dead here. What can Lina do with the BKB trying to right click his way through this one? But there's still no Metamorph, and without Metamorph, this TP just doesn't do enough damage. Ahai is trying to chase and get after some more additional kills, and he's going to find the Silencer as well. So this should be enough to secure Dire. Roshan if they want it. Maybe they even go look. Light, light Tower, more. come on! <laughs> light, light Tower! That was yeah. all kinds of crazy. Terrorblade uses his second BKB charge. Now it's down to eight seconds. They didn't get the kills that they were looking for. They ended up having, go having to go for that defensive global silence as well, not netting any kills, end up retreating. Everything that went wrong for Clutch Gamers went wrong. Yeah. I don't know I don't why know. they felt it necessary to take that fight. Yes. I don't know why Terribly was like, oh, yeah, yeah, no, I have literally nothing. Let's go take this fight. It's like, I, I BKB, but without Metamorph, it means even when your Metamorph comes up, you now don't have BKB. It was just doubly bad. He's so far behind. Uh, after I that two or three minutes of pressing it, the, the graph just dropped down. At um, best, he was able to stall out Roche, and now Meta is up, but they're not even converging on the location. They don't even have wards over there. They're not going to have global silence, and well, looks like Raven and Ahai are going to be the ones in Roche, while some of the other players uh, push out these lanes. Are Clutch forfeiting this Roche? They don't uh, really seem to be prioritizing They have such it. bad vision. They may go for a kill mid, AU on the Tiny, but he's just way too tanky. These Laguna Blades have been doing nothing. Yep. Oh, they're coming. Gets a four stop delivered and immediately uses to get out. Roshan they're getting coming. low here. Can they get in in time? It's going to be picked up. Raven gets the Aegis. Ohio has got the Ravage here. Is it going to go for it with the BKBs? It may not be good. It's going to be a dieback, so he's just going to throw it. Pops the Greaves as well. The boat run buff comes in now. Ohio surviving for the time being here. And he's going to just hide in the trees and heal up as much as he can. While well, they've killed two already, including the Lycan here. They want some more. The X onto the Ogre. They will look to bring him down with the torrent pullback, and that's going to be a dead ogre as well as Lena Alacrity got chased down by Raven, who has a gem, so there's no shadow blading away. They lost this temper. Looks like GG almost. For, yeah, for Clash Gamer, they, obviously they kind of tilt. They lost temper. They, 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 they won. It's, it's just like you, you when you go to Casino you know, and you lost some money, and then you was like, oh. man, we gotta go, we gotta go more, double time to get all the back up. Right. Keep going, keep going. Next thing you know, you lost it all. Yep. It's it's pretty much like um, clutch gamer in the um, in casino right now. Just just you gotta keep calm for that. They they keep fighting right from the start. Um, I mean uh, right off the start of the game, and they are still fighting for now. However, yeah, yeah rats I, in trouble. It would be totally different story if Clash Gamer got a global silence just now. A high is kind of low, and then he gets the X TP back. Can bring some items too. He's got the cheese, in fact. No signs of defense from Clutch Gamers. They're gonna give up this Rax and push bottom out with the Necrobox. What's the cooldown on Meta? It's uh, 60 seconds. Oh, the cheese. So. Oh, wow, that cut cut it easy. First set Rax. Luckily, it was only one yep. way. Looks like they're gonna fall back for the shrine now. There were so many things that affected in the previous team fight and, and how we get here at this point of the game. Uh, one thing is about the buyback. I want to talk about buyback a bit because I have seen so many teams in the Southeast Asia Kings Cup too that they, in my opinion, um, they, they're not doing a properly buyback. As, as you can see, when you see, when somebody go into a team fight and die, right? Normally, most of the time, it's going to be a carry who buy back into the team fight. But I, I don't know. In my opinion, if you are a carry, if you die in a team fight, sometimes you just have to let it go. When when the fight is not so like uh, very near to your base, the reason is because if you're a carry, you di you die and then you buy back. By the time you you come back to the fight, uh, your support die already. So it's pretty much like you run into an outnumbered situation. But if you are a support, uh, yeah, you die, you buy back for to go for more because your carry is still tanking the damage for you. Well, not many of these heroes have buyback right now, and Smoked Up is Clutch Gamers. They're going to find Ogre Magi up top. They'd love to find more kills, but it looks like the rest of Clutch are going to TP out. And the kill they want, really wanted was Terra Blade. 
Instead, they may have to settle for an Ogre and Silencer, the supports, but yeah, you take those supports right now. Ogre's being slept up while they chase down Silencer. 1,200 damage crit. Yeah. Good news is for Clutch, the the cores got out. I believe it was Silencer trying to TP on out at the start and got cancelled. Right from the start, as we see um, G U and play this hero. Well, we can say right from the start uh, that this guy is really comfortable with this hero. The the timing of his doing like the X mark torrent go shift is all perfect. He never miss it, not even once mm -hmm. in this game. Well, I've got some good news for you. What? Let's click the terror blade. You look at the terror blade. Well, the viewers see it. You gotta see it, champ. Oh my God! It's oh. happening. It's happening. We got a rape here. It's queued up. Oh. It's not bought yet. But they must feel pretty desperate. Nico, baby! He's he feeling like good he needs something crazy. Good daddy. He's, I, you know, I'm not <laughs> sure this is as desperate as he thinks to get a rape here. Yeah. I think <laughs> there's so many other good items on TB that, like, I don't feel like this is like a amazing rapier hero, no. but it's like a, it's an okay one, of course. But hey, why? I'm not complaining. The you chaos this will bring to this game. We got potentially one team fight left for Clutch Gamers if they're buying this rapier. It looks like Nico Baby wants to go out and get. He's going to send the courier along the sides of the map. Try and sneak by. There's a lot of dire heroes protecting this secret shop, though. And this relic has been scouted. And you've got to imagine if you're low tech, when you see this relic, you, you know it's not a radiance. You don't probably don't think Homie it's. wants a nullifier. A nullifier? <laughs> <laughs> but if and he was nullifier, he would have bought it already. Yeah, because that's, that's such a true. small, like, little boost in gold to complete it. Hunter, I'm the oh no, already. he didn't time it! He's got the shield He didn't feed. time it! Uh, it should be okay. Oh, I think they They're know. pinging it. Yeah, how's uh, he gonna get it back now? He can kind of juke with it. He hasn't bought it yet, though. Well, he better make a move fast. It's moving. Oh, he didn't buy it! It's going back to the side without buying it! He, he wants he buyback? Buy back. No, oh, he no, bought, he he bought it. it at the other side shop. Oh, oh he's, he's TPing down. back. Yep. So no blood loss. This is gonna be hard, even though he have a rapier. Rapier on. Rax is dying, though. This melee Rax is almost dead. Can he find a way into this fight? In. Why isn't he going in? They've seen the Ugh. TB illusion. They know he has a rapier. LSA coming out onto Ohio. He pops the cheese. He baits out the Lena BKB as well. And Raxus is just dead. You walk away if you're low tech. You take that. You just won that fight. Well, that was anticlimactic. Let's hope they can find a way. Bottom line, they just don't have a good teamfight starter. You have a Lycan as your offlaner. That's not a hero that starts teamfights. I mean, he's going to have to. He's just going to have to run in and... Shape shift and hope for the best because buildings are dying. This is almost mega creep to this point. Oh, here comes Terrorblade. TB with the Ooh. rapier, the global silence on the Weaver. Can he be kept alive? The rapier damage, it's going to be enough. Down goes Raven on the Weaver. Can hey. they find any more here? The dog, Raven. the dog. Yep, charging in on the back lines. Wants to force this fight. They've used Metamorph, so they need to get more kills, it feels like. In goes Terrorblade. Where is he? He needs to do some more damage here. He's playing very cautiously. He does not want to die to a potential Ravage. He throws the Sunder. He's back to full health. Raven, he bought back. He time lapse. He can't afford to die. There comes the Ravage. He catches another TB. There's no Sunder left. Nico, baby. He's going to die here. The Tiny oh. goes blinking, and he's done. Full Rapier hits the deck. It's surely GG now. The Ravage is there. Who wants it? They're pinging it. Whose is it? Raven Ravens. says, that's mine. Xian, you stay the hell away from that. <laughs> Let me see that net worth. How much did Raven just shoot up by? Oh, he's so rich! This is the Raven we know and love. He's going Damn. charging in. All oh, the Geminates! Uh, oh, Tiny yeah, Avalanche. Like crazy! First game of the series! One more right click. Get him! Ogre oh, by his back. It's an Ogre! This Ogre's got nothing. That Raven just becoming rich chica, right? Oh, right terribly the, the first one to leave, too. <laughs> oh, man. Your baby's not happy about that. Well. Well, it is low tech taking game one. Whew. It was it was That's a hype. Good, to be to be honest, I think it was a good lineup for for Team Crush Gamer to play in. These heroes are are good. <laughs> I, I mean, it, it's just that I feel like they are not comfortable to play in this game. I'm not sure why, but the temper control is a problem. I would imagine the pauses have a big issue yeah, regarding yeah. that. True. I think it's true. Yeah. The the pause, you know, affecting the flow of the game and all these stuff. Sometimes you just last hit thing and then have a great last hit and then the pause comes out and it's actually affect your focus, especially in mid to to um late game. It's not a throw game at all for Team Clash Gamer. No, it's just, low tech it, on that it, yeah, square. it's it's not a throw game at all. It's just that they they can't control that temper. Well, 
was a we're gonna rape you. We had a ninety minute game. You know that game had it all. <laughs> <laughs> That's great. <laughs> the oh, scoreboard may beg to differ. Look, you can't complain. I can't <laughs> complain. <laughs> I look like Bruno Mars with his hat. <laughs> Bruno Mars yeah. wear a hat like that? Yeah. Which song? I don't know. He wears hats. A music all video the time. or something? Uh, yeah, he wears hats. Pharrell all the time. wears hats all the time. This? Not like that. Bruno Mars wears okay. hats. Okay, I'll have to look that one up. Yeah. Well, it's been a l extended game one, yeah, making yeah. up for all the time that we didn't have in the first series. That was we had to true. compensate. Mm -hmm. Yes, <laughs> the entire first series combined was shorter than <laughs> <Right>. all of that. <laughs> Whatever that was. Hopefully there is not more of that as uh, we move on to game number two. Um, where the Dota was great, unfortunately the pauses, they were not so great. But game two. We'll Promises see. to be better? I'm not promising. We'll see you soon.